but they say the world's biggest tortoises live on the Galapagos Islands. And so this is why I started to shout, because I realized that this year it was so tough that honestly, there were times that I really shouldn't have been able to pay my bills. There were times, Brother Ian, that it got so tough that I really shouldn't have been able to keep the light on. It got so tough for some of you. As a matter of fact, God had to do some all of a sudden miracles and blessings for you. And folks been looking at you wondering. They saying they know your circumstance, know your situation. And they wondering how in the world you still blessed. How in the world you was able to keep the light bill on making the kind of money you was making. How in the world when you lost your job, amen, you still had food in the cupboard. Amen. They said, amen, that it did some freaky stuff may be happening. But you and I both well know that ain't no freaky stuff or coincidence incidents when it comes to God. As a matter of fact, it's just the favor of the Lord. And can I tell y'all something? Favor really ain't fair. Because now here it is, all of a sudden things just start coming out of nowhere. I can tell you all the truth. Let me tell you, the other day I had some money stolen from me. It was my, uh, it was my um, rent money, you know. It, uh, not my rent money, my mortgage money. I pay rent no more. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And I believe in for all of y'all to get you. You just got to get in faith. Amen. But here it is, they stole all my mortgage money, Brother Clarence, all my mortgage money. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all, this was a perplexing time for me because here it is, in four days, I had to go to the bank and the bank ain't gonna come talking, they ain't gonna take a care less that I's Pastor Dury Thomas, amen. Take a care how much I've been in, uh, take a care less how much I've been investing in the young people on the island. All they know is on the specific date we need our mortgage payment. Y'all ever had to been there this year? Anyone ever had to, you know, amen, maybe it's only me, amen. I must be got to start preaching and do what y'all doing, amen. But here it is, amen. They stole the mortgage money, Sister Jackie, and I went to Shari. I say, Shari, they stole the mortgage money, and I was supposed to go to the to, to the to the food store, Brother Clarence, that night, and I was disobedient to my wife, and I tell her, hey, fellas, I can tell you the truth. If your wife asks you to do something, just do it, Amen. Because had I gone to the food store that night, can I tell you all the truth? Amen. I would have been able to have at least groceries in my house. Amen. But here it is. I say I could go first thing Sunday morning, 6 o'clock, Shari, or 7 o'clock. I get up and I go into the food store to put food in the house. But before I could do that, amen, all the money gets stolen, Brother Clarence. And I said to myself, Lord, how in the world am I going to be able to pay my mortgage? I started freaking right out. See, y'all too holy for this, amen. But I started to freak right out. But can I tell you, all of a sudden, Brother Clarence, things just start blowing in, amen, from all sorts of directions. Amen. The next day I got to church, I had a message from one of the authors that I published their book. Say, say, Dury, I need some books, amen. After he got those books from me, I was able, amen, to have a little bit of money to go to watch the mortgage. Then all of a sudden, someone called me and say, Pastor Dury, I just got something, amen, for you. And, and, and can I tell you, they came and they put not only the mortgage payment in my hand, amen, but they put more than enough, amen, I was $150 short, and I ain't gonna tell y'all where the $150 come from, amen, why, because y'all can't handle that right now, amen, but some folks will think you're doing something illegal just because they seeing all the blessings in your life, amen, but look at somebody say, it ain't that I doing something illegal, it's just that I got the favor of God on my life, yeah, I shouldn't have been able to pay the bills, but favor, amen, yeah, my, my child scholarship could, shouldn't have been able to be paid, but favor and favor ain't fair. Maybe I need to bring the widow of Nain, brother uh, Clarence, amen, to, to prophesy or to testify with us tonight, amen. All of a sudden, she was about to bake her last cake and die, her and her son, but she was obedient to the voice of the man of God, and even though there was a famine, she was eating, amen, large and in charge, amen. And let me tell you, some of y'all may be tripping right now, and, y'all, and, and you know what, Western people, we really got to get our minds in the right places, you know. Because let me tell you, when I think of the goodness of God, man, listen, that's why I can't help but to praise him after I think about this year. Amen. Because guess what? Just the other day, I tell our power crew, my son, Brother Clarence, came to me one morning and said, Daddy, I want some conflicts. And watch this boy. I can shout all by myself. He say, I say, he say, you want some conflict. I say, Damari, what kind of conflicts you want? Uh, amen. I was able to, uh, to offer him, amen, a different kind of cereal. Amen. You want me to tell you all? why that get me excited because brother e and i just read in sanarin africa amen that children before they reach the age of five they do they never see 175 children die out of a thousand children every day because they are suffering from malnutrition as a matter of fact amen uh, uh chronicle um 
King Man, my boy, I saw, amen, a picture with an African toddler, for about four years old, four and a half years old, with the very last bit of strength that he had. He was crawling to a United Nations food camp, and there was a vulture behind him, amen, just waiting for that toddler to drop, amen, so that he could have a good meal. And I said, Lord, you mean to tell me all this time I've been complaining but my corned beef, I've been complaining but my ramen noodles, but I could have seen the blessings of the Lord, amen, that day. And I said, God, the next time I got to eat corned beef and right rice, I could be giving you thanks like I got a T-bone steak in front of me. Why? Because I realized that God has been good. And I wonder if I got about three people on the inside of here tonight that say, Pastor Dury, I may not have had everything I wanted, but I had what I needed. You ought to give God praise because he's been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And so here it is, these things start coming out of nowhere, just growing up, amen. They start coming out of nowhere. Hey, God, I could even tell y'all, I, amen, Abraham, the father of faith. I preached this sometime this year before. Father of faith, faith put Hagar out and Ishmael out, amen, out of, out of the host with one uh, a skin of water and one piece of bread. And Hagar could tell you she was about to bury her son. But all of a sudden, the angel of the Lord showed up all of a sudden. Anybody else had them all of a sudden blessings? Amen. All of a sudden, Hagar said the angel of the Lord showed up and caused water to come out of the brook. Amen. And God supplied their needs in the midst of a famine, in the midst of a recession. And you know how I know y'all could give God praise because y'all still here. Amen. As a matter of fact, how much of y'all had something to eat today? Amen. Uh, unless you're fasting. Amen. Unless you're fasting. Amen. And, and even if it was flower pop, amen, you still had more than other persons had. Amen. Some of y'all could testify that I had gas in the car to get from point A to point B. Yeah, it may have been $5, amen. And sometimes you was driving on fumes, but at least you had fumes and you had a car to go from point A to point B. Somebody shout, I survived. Hallelujah. Let me hurry up and give you the other uh, two places, three places here. Amen. First of all, the third place was at very, very old ages. Watch this. Scientists have discovered spores that can survive all kinds of trauma. Heat, cold, high pressure, low pressure for a very, very long time. In 1995, scientists claimed that they revived spores from the gut of a bee from 25 million to 40 million year old ambers. A few years later, another team reported reviving spores that were 250, year, 250 million years old from salt crystal. And more recently, they have claimed to revive spores that were under ice from a valley in Antarctica, millions, probably 800 million years old. And the ones that were in ice up to 8 million, sorry, 8 million years old, and the ones that were up to life, up to, up to age 8 million, they said that they had some of the most, uh, reset. They, they were able to resuscitate life out of these old spores. And can I tell you why I, I feel this was a good preaching point? Because see, as the years go by and by, the devil tries to mess with some of your minds, especially our elder brothers and sisters, and tell you that the years are going by and you still ain't see the promises that God promised you, amen? The years are going by, amen? You're getting at an old age and you still ain't see some of the things come to pass that God told you was supposed to come the past amen but can I tell you like David said David says I was young and now I'm old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken neither his seed begging bread and can I tell y'all something that God could take dead situations and bring it to life again amen I don't care how dead the situation look God could bring it to life again okay here comes fake uh, attacking reason right now amen you see uh, uh, Sarah she was operating in reason because all of a sudden the angel of the Lord showed up to Sarah amen minister Jones and they said to her that you're going to have a son. The Lord's going to give you a son. And Sarah starts to laugh. She starts laughing. She said, God got to be tripping. Nah, he can't give me a son in my old age. My womb is good as dead. Amen. And can I tell y'all something? I heard a preacher preach a topic called God's going to make you laugh. Can I tell y'all in 2010, God going to make some of y'all laugh. Why? Because some ridiculous things are about to happen. Amen. As a matter of fact, some of y'all going to have some things happen that you yourself can't believe happen. Why? Because God goes against reason, and when your faith is in, put in place, God says nothing is impossible to them. Watch this, that believes. Somebody shout, I'm a survivor. 
Hallelujah. And some of you, amen, one of the things I realize about these old spores or these elder spores, amen, it says that they were able to survive anything, amen. And that's why we need you elder brothers and sisters, amen, to continue to hold on and continue to testify. Why? Because some of us young folks can't take some of the things y'all have been through, amen. As a matter of fact, what we complain about, y'all have been there, done that, got the t-shirt, wondering what's next, amen. They say...